with me again, welcome back to Rex and Media Rex. Today we're going to be talking about sister sciences, what they are and how you can use them. I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible because it can get really confusing but if you've got any other questions about the stuff in this video just leave them in the comments section and I can chat to you about it there. In order to figure out how sister sizes work, you need to know how bra measurements work in the first place. And you might think that this is common knowledge, but you'd be surprised about just how many people don't know how we get to the size 34E, for example. I am one of those people, I didn't actually realize until a couple of years ago, this is how you worked out the cup sizes. But I found that once I understood the mechanics behind it, it just made everything so much easier. So we will take my cup size of a 34E. How do we get to that measurement? Well, the 34 part is the measurement of my underbust. So that's the bit that sits underneath my boobs around my rib cage. And that on me is 34 inches. So the band size on my bra will be a 34. Oh, and if you find that your measurement on your underbust is an odd number, always go up to the next even number. So if you're measuring 31, you'll be wearing a 32 band. The cup size measurement is the measurement around the fullest part of your boobs. That measurement on me is 40 inches, which is a difference of six inches between my underbush measurement, which was 34, and my fuller bust measurement, which is 40. So the inch difference between those two measurements is then translated into letters. So for example, a difference of one inch would be an A cup, a difference of two inches would be a B cup, three inches a C cup, etc. And that is how you figure out the letter for your cup size. Just to make it even more difficult for us, the UK, the US and the EU all have different scales about how they translate into cup sizes. For example, in the UK, we go A, B, C, D, double D, E, F, and so on. In the US, I think it's A, B, C, D, double D, triple D, and so on. And in the EU, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, which I don't know why they couldn't all be like that, but there we go. So that's why it's really important to check whether you're looking for a UK, US or an EU bra size when you're buying a bra online. Now we know how our bra sizes actually work, what is a sister size? So for example, if you were wearing a size 34C but you were finding that your band measurement was a little bit too big, you could go down to a size 34 but you wouldn't go for a 34C because the volume of the cups wouldn't be the same. So as a general rule, when you move down on a band size, you move up on a cup size. So you would probably end up being a 32D. And similarly, if you were finding that your band size was a little bit too tight, you would then move up on the band size, but move down on the cup size to keep it relevant. This is why we can't just go off cup size alone to determine how big somebody's boobs are and why it can be really confusing if somebody's saying that they are a cup size C, for example, and you're a cup size B, but yours are a little bit bigger. It's all relative to the band size. But hopefully that helped. If it did, please do give this video a giant thumbs up and consider subscribing because there's probably going to be other videos on my channel that are useful for you as well. Um, and also, if you want to find more fuller bust fashion, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram. But thank you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>